Hey guys, this is Brandy with Mustard Seed Candles, and if you're watching this video, then you must have scanned the QR code for the how-to of the Dole Bowl Refill Kit. So to first of all, um, this is a refill kit for our Dole Bowls. So if you've purchased one of those and it is empty or ready to be filled, then this is the video for you. What you're gonna get is obviously your bowl. We're gonna clean it out really good with soap and water and let it dry overnight for about 24 hours. Um, and then you're ready to do the dough bowl kit and it's super easy. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it comes with um, and then I'm, we're gonna do it together. So the box that you'll get looks just like this with our logo on the front and on the top. When you open it up, this is exactly what you get in it. So first of all, you get our huge tub of pre-scented wax. It's already measured out. So you pick the scent that you want. Obviously this one is Narcissist. Um, and no need to worry about mustard seeds. We put them in their bottom for you anyway. So you get a tub of the scent that you choose, and this is the wax. You get all three of your wicks that you're gonna use for your dough bowl. One of these handy little stir sticks. Some of our wick stickers. If you have a glue gun, you're more than welcome to use it. Um, if not, these are included just for you. They're super duty to use um, up to really high heat. So that, and then of course you will get our instructions that come with it. So that's all in the box. The only thing that you would need to really have is something to set the wick with and maybe something to actually set the wick with. Obviously I have these little like barbecue skewers you can literally use a pencil and roll it on down to it and hold it in place as well. And then to set the wick, I have wick, wick stickers. But before I got professional, I actually would hollow out a mechanical pencil and use that. And I'll show you how I'm actually gonna do it with this for you. So let's get right to it. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and set your wicks in there. Um, you would need to pre-measure out so that you make sure that you've got one in the center and then one on each side evenly dispersed. And this is important because if it's not evenly dispersed, there's a chance that the wax won't melt all the way across. Um, so just make sure, just get a simple ruler out, measuring tape, measure across the top, this way and this way. It's super easy to do. I've already pre-measured mine out. So I am going to use a hollowed out pencil and our wick right here. I actually have my heat gun here, my hot glue gun, so I'm gonna use that. But if you weren't gonna use it and you were gonna use these wick stickers, it's super easy. You just peel them off here, put them on, and then stick it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick these on here. If I can get this to go. All right, and I'm gonna put it down just a little bit so you can see what we're doing. So I've already got mine pre-measured out right here so you can see that. So we're gonna stick one Stick down there real good and press down firmly. And you can see how the wick is already falling over. That's where these are gonna come into play in just a moment. And if you are using hot glue, this is more than enough. It's gonna go around the sides anyway. Find your second place that you had decided on, stick. And then third. and stick. Now we're gonna set the wicks real quick. To do this, you wanna make sure that they're even this way and also this way. So I'm gonna use four different skewers. You can use something like this. Um, I literally just tied rubber bands to the end. Or you can go ahead and clip the wicks down um, and that is totally fine too. The main thing to remember is the job that we're trying to do is make sure that the wicks stay upright while the candle cools. Now, while we're doing all of this, you can go ahead and have your wax melting in the microwave. So we're gonna put it on for two minutes at half power heat. Two minutes is all it takes. Once it's done, you put it in there, take the lid off, put it in there at two minutes at half power. It literally comes out just like this. I went ahead and melted some so you guys could see it. So again, two minutes at half power. Stir this bad boy up really good because there's some at the bottom that's just not totally melted and we wanna make sure we stir all that up so that the scent is also evenly dispersed back in there. Now, if you're at home, obviously you're probably at your kitchen table or something and I would recommend maybe putting a um, parchment paper down underneath just in case you spill it a little bit, it would be an easy cleanup. So we're gonna scent this down now and now it's time to pour. And guys, literally five minutes 
on the dot. We're just gonna pour, pour, pour. Just real simple and easy. It's pre-portioned out, so it should fit your dough bowl. In fact, you may have some wax left over, and if you do, um, you could just leave it in this little carrier right here and save it for later, or even put it into, um, wait till it hardens back up, and you can put it into like a wax melter as well. Guys, literally, that's it. That's how easy this is to do this at home in your kitchen. So now that you've seen me do it, it's your turn. So have fun creating, and I'd love to hear from you guys. So give us a shout out or a like on social media, and um, show me some pictures of your double refill kits. Thanks guys, this is Brandy from Mustard Seed Candles. Have a great day.